The first group of ingredients are used for the production of the milk chocolate coating, and these include sugar, cocoa butter, chocolate, skim milk, lactose, milk fat, soy lecithin, and artificial flavor. The second group of ingredients used for other parts of the chocolate bar are corn syrup, sugar, palm oil, skim milk, lactose, salt, egg whites, more artificial flavor, and of course, peanuts. When you divide a Snickers bar into two halves and look on the inside, you see two layers. At the bottom is a whitish layer called the nougat, which is probably the sweetest part of the chocolate bar. The top layer is the caramel layer, which is the crunchiest part of the chocolate since that's where all the peanuts are. Together with the outer chocolate layer, this sums up all the layers of a Snickers bar into three. As such, the production process happens in three steps. It begins with making the nougat, followed by the caramel peanuts mixture, and finally, the chocolate dipping of the candy bar. For the nougat, the ingredients used are whipped egg white, corn syrup, sugar, milk, and salt, all mixed together in a massive metal container. After being mixed thoroughly for a few minutes, the nougat reaches the aimed consistency and thickness, and the mixture is dropped from the mixer onto a cooling roll, where it is cooled and thinned out. As it spreads, the next layer of Snickers chocolate does the same. However, a lot more goes into preparing this caramel peanuts mixture. To meet their extremely high demand, the Snickers manufacturing company uses over 71 acres of freshly harvested peanuts daily. The peanuts are roasted and salted before being mixed with the previously made caramel. The caramel is produced by slowly heating white granulated sugar to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Tons of sugar, and I mean tons, are placed into a big metal container. And after the sugar is caramelized, it is transferred into a big mixer, where it is mixed with milk to give it the creamy taste that you enjoy in your chocolate bar. After the caramel has been prepared, the roasted peanuts are added to the mix, thus combining the sweet, creamy flavor of the caramel with the rich, salty flavor of fresh peanuts. This unique peanut caramel combo is thoroughly mixed, and after the designated duration, this mixture drops from the mixer down to the cooling roll, where it cools down for a few minutes. After cooling, it's time for the nougat and the caramel mix to meet up. First, a cooling roll spreads the nougat on a moving conveyor, and another cooling roll spreads the caramel mix on top of the nougat. The newly formed two-layer slab moves on a conveyor to the next stage of production at the slitter area. As the slab moves through the first slitting machine, it is divided vertically into 38 long candy strips. At the next station, another machine cuts through these long strips in the opposite direction, dividing them into individual candy bars. These uncoated Snickers bars are ready to go on to the next stage, where they are covered in creamy milk chocolate. However, the chocolate has to be prepared first. The fundamental ingredients in chocolate production are cocoa beans, millions of which are used during the Snickers production process. After they've been harvested, the cocoa beans are cleaned and sorted into good and bad, and the good ones are sent to the Snickers company, where they are processed and turned into chocolate. The beans are then roasted to bring out the characteristic chocolate aroma and enhance the flavor. Afterward, the shells are removed and taken to a hydraulic press, where cocoa butter is extracted from the beans. After all the other byproducts are extracted, all that's left is raw, unrefined cocoa liquor, which is the basis of dark chocolate. But that's not what the Snickers company is aiming for. To convert this dark chocolate into milk chocolate, other ingredients are added including the previously extracted cocoa butter, sugar, and milk. Fun fact, the amount of milk used by the Snickers company daily is equivalent to the amount of milk you'd get from milking about 8,000 cows. How insane is that? Well, back to the production process. After adding all the extra ingredients to the dark chocolate, the mixture is mixed until the texture of the resulting paste is consistent. This is then heated, cooled, and reheated until the desired smooth creamy milk chocolate liquid is finally formed. This chocolate liquid is then placed into two kinds of enrobing machines. A smaller one, which serves as the bottom coat, and a bigger one, 
which is the full coat. As the uncoated Snickers candy bars leave the slitting machine, they go through the bottom coat first, which bathes the individual bars in chocolate from the bottom. About two seconds later, they are fully coated in milk chocolate. Now that the candy bars are completely covered in a thick chocolate wrapping, they are ready for the next stage, which is the packaging. But before that, the chocolate bars go through a machine that engraves the signature swirl on each one. Afterwards, they are allowed to cool down before they are packaged, sealed, boxed, and transported to retailers worldwide.